Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province recently opened smart stores in alleyway Gwangyo of Suwon City and a traditional market in Guri City. Titled Fantasy XR Market in Town, XR referring to the combination of VR and AR, these smart store experiential zones will showcase futuristic technologies until December 3rd. At these smart stores, visitors can experience services combined with diverse technologies such as virtual jewelry and eyewear fittings, hairstyling simulations, and virtual reality menus. On September 28th, Gyeonggi Province held a game competition event titled New Gyeonggi Game Audition to select competitive games for global marketing support. In this event, the game Save the World presented by the team Nebo won the top prize. The teams that took first to third place will be granted extra assessment points in their global game center tenancy applications as well as various services for follow-up development. Gyeonggi Province is currently making a third round of disaster basic income payments to residents, including those who were excluded from central government disaster support payments. During the online application period that ended on October 11th, 67% of subject residents submitted applications. The third basic income payment can be used within the year at the same commercial establishments as those specified for central government payments. On October 8th, former local finance director general Oh byung Guan of the Ministry of the Interior and Safety was appointed as the 36th vice governor of Gyeonggi Province for administrative affairs. For going an inaugural ceremony, vice governor Oh began his duties by immediately addressing key issues including COVID-19. In lieu of an inaugural speech, Vice Governor O oh offered assurances that he would strive to mitigate the impact of COVID-19 so as to ensure the safety of residents while doing his utmost for the happiness of residents and the advancement of the province. On October 12th, Gyeonggi Province, Hyundai Mobis and the Gyeonggi Research Institute signed an agreement to help ensure the safe operation of public buses. This agreement pertains to the implementation of a bus safety management system that integrates healthcare technologies to prevent accidents during high speed and long distance travel while ensuring the safety of commuters. According to the agreement, Gyeonggi Province will install an EEG based monitoring system developed by Hyundai Mobis on public buses in the province and expand installation coverage to all public bus routes. On October 10th, Future Show 2021, an event featuring opportunities to experience future technologies utilized in local commerce, ended after a four-day run at Begot Avenue France Plaza in Shihung City. Marking its second year, this event was organized by Gyeonggi Province to promote local commerce through digitization. Held under the theme of Digital Walk, this year's show featured exhibits of Industry 4.0 technologies that viewers could experience and enjoy in a walking format so as to prevent the spread of COVID-19. On October 7th, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee J. Myung attended the Futuristic Smart Belt Strategy Announcement made by Samsung Electronics at its Hwasong City Complex. During this event, which also saw the participation of seven Gyeonggi City Mayors and Samsung Electronics Vice President Park Chan-hoon, the first futuristic Smart Belt strategy in which these seven cities will participate was announced. The Smart Belt is a cooperative association of seven southern cities of the province, including Suwon and Yongin, that are strategically important in the semiconductor industry. This alliance was formed with the aim of identifying and implementing related policies for mutual benefit. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.